Hi, it's day 19 of Vlogmas. And I wanted to tell you the resolution of the incident with my mailbox. Um, I was trying to catch the mailman yesterday, but I caught him this afternoon when he was delivering mail. And to give him his Christmas card and his tip. By the way, you should tip your mail carriers. They do a lot for you year round. And uh, I said to him, I'm sorry, you know, that I complained about the key issue and the packages. He said to me, no, thank you. I'm very grateful that you did that. I have been telling my supervisor that there was an issue with that key for close to three weeks now. And she has told me I just don't know what I'm doing when I use the master key to open up and how to get that key out of there to put in the boxes. Um, however, because you complain to our postmaster and my supervisor was right there when you did it, explain what had happened. When I came in, postmaster pulled me in to ask me what was going on and I said I had reported it and filled out a work order for the past two weeks that I know of and no one has done anything about it and he said to me I should have actually come to your door knocked on the door to let you know that the packages were there at the very least or stuck a note in your mailbox to let you know to look in there and I said to him well the only thing I was concerned about is this time last year I had medications that had to be ordered. It was the exact same medication that came. And I said, um, it went missing. Never did show up. And because my insurance had already paid for three months worth, they would not refill that, neither would the pharmacy. So I had to get a whole new prescription from my doctor for the next three months. And even though we had paid our $60 copay for that, we were out of pocket $2,300 for that medication. It is not a medication that I can go without. So I was concerned because it was stuck in there and just anybody could get it. And he apologized. And, you know, we said our whatevers. And he was grateful. He got a nice tip. He said, I'm surprised you tipped me. I said, why? You've been delivering the mail and, you know, we always tip our mail persons. Um, he said, yeah, but your previous mail person, you know, she had her knee done and has since retired. I said, yeah, I know that. He goes, I've put in for this route and I was given the route today. I said, that's fine, but that's, that's why we're giving you the tip is because I knew my regular route person was no longer there and then I have already taken something over to her so we're good and squared right he said yes we hugged he gave the dog the uh, kids next door their dog a little chew bone like he always does when he comes up and we're good to go so things are situated and things are taken care of and it worked out for the best because it, there was an issue that his supervisor just thought he didn't know what he was doing. And even though he'd put in the work order, they were ignoring it. So the box has been fixed. They were fixing it. I had to go back out and come back in. And they were fixing it as I was coming back in. So it is being repaired. And things should be fine from now on. So... Sometimes you have to do what you have to do, regardless of who you think you might hurt. Um, I had a few people send me some private messages, as well as publicly, about you should, you should. I'm going to tell you this. My mother always told me, do not let people should on you. Sorry, I did what I thought I needed to do. Did I use some language that some people found offensive? Yes, but it was used absolutely correctly. The language that I used, 
is also something that you use when you're angered and the actual colloquial meaning of the word means to express anger towards someone acting foolishly. Now in the 30s it changed to mean something else so those of you that had your mind in the gutter don't go there. Words have meaning, words change, the meanings change, so there, we're good. <laughs> um, I did give the hat to my friend and she absolutely loved it, so I'm going to insert a picture of the hat that she had previously that was falling apart and there was nothing we could do to fix, and then a picture of her in the new hat. Um, I already talked to her, asked her if it was okay, and it's good. So, <laughs> she was thrilled to death. And I was teasing her. I said, I, you know, I know you said your daughter. And she said, well, actually, it was my son that's getting it. She said, I did talk to my daughter. My son, my daughter said, no, my son Ron was getting it for me. And uh, she said, so when I go to his house for Christmas, I'm going to wear my hat. I said, don't do that to Ron. She goes, that's okay. I've got two hats. I can wear one. When it's dirty, I'll wear the other. She's a good sport about it. Um, but she's done a lot of good things for us. So um, she's making all the uh, pom-poms for our baby hats. And she's doing a good job. And So I think every once in a while you have to show some appreciation and give gifts to those who do help you out and make things brighter for you. Uh, yeah. It's been an interesting day. Okay, I'm going to show you today's angel. And today's angel is a weeping angel. Yes, I'm a bit of a nerd. love Doctor Who. Love Star Trek, love the whole nine yards. So when I saw this angel, I determined I needed to do a weeping angel. So this is my weeping angel, and she is in the dormant position. You can make her into the attack position if you choose, and I chose not to. So uh, there. That's it for today, real quick and short. Everybody remember, have a good day. And Merry Christmas, Merry Vlogmas, the whole nine yards, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.